In this video, I am going to show you how do we use a SQL Server Trace file against the Database Engine Tuning Advisor. I already have in a previous video showed it to you how to use a SQL file against the Database Tuning Advisor. But before we use a trace file, we need to create a trace file. We can create a trace file using a SQL Server Profiler. And how do we do it? I have just started my SQL Server Profiler and I am going to just show it to you. I am going to select a new trace. As you can see, it is going to connect to my server and I am going to type the demo trace. SQL Server provides with lot of templates already there, a standard default and there are many others. You can see tuning and other things and I am going to create a blank one because I am not interested in the other ones. So I can create a blank one in the event selection. I will select the event. Because I am going to deal with the T-SQL, so I will select all the events for the T-SQL. I am creating this trace for the T-SQL. So looking at that thing and then I can go to the stored procedure, RPC and I am going to select all of them. All the events. And usually you will find that some of these boxes are not there because they do not apply to that place. As you can see in many places. And that's it and I am going to say before that I actually want to only deal with the my date the database only the what do you call the adventure works so I'm going to go to and click the database name like and I'm going to select the adventure works this thing and I'm going to click OK you can actually organize columns depending upon what you want and up and down depending upon what you want and other things but in my case I am not going to do it I am going to just leave it as it is as you can see the event class the application name all are there if you want to move it up and down you can click on this thing and try to up move up or down as suppose if you want to say login you can click it up 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 and we can have a login name by the other side let's go to the place again and see Yes, you can see the login names are there here again and we can see a lot of data here and we can also see a lot of data here depending upon what we want and I am just going to click run and I have started the trace but you see there is nothing happening because though the master database is running on the SQL server but then we have not doing anything with the adventure works database so there is nothing showing up in the trace file. Now I will start the SQL Server and I will just go to the Adventure Database. I have just many of the SQL commands ready and I am going to execute them. And once I have executed them, I have a lot of SQL coming up and you will see that the trace file is running now. As you can see the trace file has generated and it has a lot of data getting collected as you can see. And as you see a lot of SQL text data, what the SQL was processed and other things are here. Now let's say I want to save this trace file and I can save this trace file in the E and I can call it demo trace and I'm going to save it. Once I save it, the file is saved. Now there is a tool database tuning advisor right here in the SQL server trace file and I can use that thing against here. And I'll go to the database engineering tuning advisor and it started and now it says connect to the PC and first thing I will do I already explained to you about the database tuning advisor if you have not seen that video you can just go and I'm going to select the adventure database and I, this time instead of selecting the SQL file I'm going to select the trace file which is demo trace and as you can see the demo trace file has been selected and uh, Tuning options if I want to change it whatever I want I can do it here in this case I'm going to leave it as the default and I'm going to start analysis now the start the analysis have been going on and it will give the recommendation and it is going to be a very similar recommendation as in the previous video because I'm going I'm exactly using the same SQL command in the trace and it is going to give us the same result as you can see it's, it has actually gone into the same thing and now it is coming to the trace file not through the SQL command and you can see it has actually going to recommend us the same thing the statistics 
It's excellent tool, isn't it? By the by the way, the, the SQL Server Profiler is just a graphical user interface. Actually, the more important thing is that the SQL trace that is running behind it. Okay, I think so. I will explain it to you very clearly. How you can create a trace file and how you can use it in the database engineering tuning advisor. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Have a nice day.